Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Small Land. I'm the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. Chesh Kondorian at your service. Ah, indeed. Okay, we're at the uh, main penthouse base at the moment. It's uh, it's small, it's quaint. I've added a bunch of chests up on this second area here. Took out the corners, did all that. I can actually jump up here. Uh, but chests along the top, I can reach them from down here as well. So I can reach all this stuff. So I've been moving things around a little bit today. This is our food. I have found honey crumble, some wild strawberries, and I found the ever so hidden nectar from me so far. I've got a few of those. I'm going to take you back to the place I'm at. I got 37 seeds so we can make some of that uh, quality wood. Uh, let's take that out right now. And what is it? Uh, left shift and uh, split the stack. Yes, confirm. Let's do that. And we're going to go ahead and take that over to the workbench and turn that into some delicious new wood. We need to make a weapon. There is a critter down there. I'm going to take you guys north with me today. We have a little outpost set up. I'll show it to you. But I found a location that has a nice supply of poppies for the nectar. And it's got a nice clump of ryegrass in it. And there's a few other resources there, too. You do, of course, have to go through a few critters to get there. But that's why I put up the extra little um, outpost for us. For how many do I need for the uh, this, this axe? Oh, it's right here. This is where I want to be. The stone hammer is what I'm making. There's a big guy down there. And when you give him the old V look, it tells you to use the uh, stone hammer. This is blunt damage, so he's susceptible to blunt damage. So I need some resin and some stone. That's easy to get. I got some stone right here. And I should have some resin. No, resin's over here. Resin right there. Boom. There we go. And uh, back to the workbench. Uh, stone hammer. There it is. We're going to take that with us and use it on him and see what that does. I have a spear here, too. What I think I'll do is I'll leave the spear behind in our box down there and I'll take the hammer instead and we'll try the hammer out on him and see if it doesn't uh, you know put him down we'll, we'll see he's a pretty big fella it's a green beetle I don't know exactly what he's called I think it's actually called a green beetle drop that in there and then I've got some wood on me I'm gonna drop you in there everything is fixed looking good uh, I've got some of this oil okay so the oil should go right here perfect perfect right there's the oil and we'll take our stone and drop that off too. I've been in here doing a little bit of the grind. Oh, I also made a couple of these. <laughs> Let's take a peek outside real quick. It's winter. I know. Look at this. It's winter time. Uh-huh. There's snow everywhere. The world looks so very different outside. Very, very different outside. I think the seasons each last just a few days, right? I don't know. Anyways, this is winter right now, so it gets cold. So I noticed in the cauldron, there's a thing called Fae Chowder, and it actually has a cold protection on it. So I made two of those. Those are in my inventory. You can see them right here. The other thing, we are wearing the padded armor, which gives us a warmth bonus as well. So you, I've had, uh, I had the guy at the very beginning there, Herod. I had him make me both sets of armor. I think you guys, we did that together. So there's other foods in here that are really nice. This grasshopper treat will work on too. Seed oil, insect, egg, and petals. So I could get a grasshopper. We could do that as well. I'm doing some exploration today, and I went north. And I want to take you guys north with me. I just slept. The house has changed a little bit. Uh, and this, you know, this is going to change. We're going to build uh, a nice house right here. And then we're going to rebuild our warehouse slash barn slash uh, workstation uh, building. We'll, we'll, we'll change it up. I think I just slept the night away, so I should be fresh to go. We're going to head north. Hey, guy. Hey, tree guy. Can you take me to the ground? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So look at this world. It's incredible. I got to tell you, the resources stick out really nice this way, too. Especially if they've got any color to them. Oh, and I shot down a couple butterflies. You do get the little green eggs and some stuff off of them too. I think the animal fat or the insect fat. So I have shot a few of those guys down. I thought you couldn't shoot them. But uh, one of you guys said in the comments that you did shoot some down. So I gave it a try. And sure enough, it, I did. Managed to get a, a few of them knocked down. I've gone that way a little bit. There's a dead end right there. Kind of, sort of. 
This place is amazing. I just love this world. It is such a unique perspective to the game. I love it. But this is farther than you guys have been with me at the moment. So some of you are going to want to see this. Some of you have been here and gone. Oh, oh. I wonder if I can outrun this guy. Just not run him. Let's try. Let's try to run. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. There's my little house. Woo! Sanctuary! I was curious to see if they'll do anything to the house. Will they do anything at all? Will they come after me here? It doesn't look like they're going to. We're getting first person here. Let's see if we can entice this guy to come and fight us a little bit here at the house. Oh, thunder. So this is my northern outpost. There is a dude to fight right over here. A big green beetle. I'm going to wait till uh, the weather improves, though. I'm, I'm expecting a storm. But this is my little northern outpost. We'll take a look at to where I'm at on the map right now. So we were, we were down here, and we've made our way up to here at the moment. So this is as far north as I have been. Uh, we have managed to open up Dristana. Uh, Kalev was already, Kalev, Kalev was already open, and then we've also got Skadi down here. Scotty, all down here. Now that's the three folks we gotta go visit, right, for the Elder to find that stuff. So that's what we're, that's what we're looking at. Uh, no, remove that. So this is where I am currently, up just a little ways north. And I think I'm gonna poke my nose around up here. Like I said, there's a big green beetle right here, and some resources that I wanna take a look at and gather up. Hope this storm passes soon. So far, it's just kind of clinging, but I did come outside to get, gather up this stuff. It's, it's, it's here, and I've got nothing to fight, so I might as well take advantage of this, right? And I'll just drop it in the chest there in the little temporary shelter we've got there. I guess it's going to be... We're going to have little outposts like that all over the place, I think. Until we can get around faster. Now, the only other thing that I've not found yet, and we need to search for, is flint. Don't know where that is. So I'm kind of branching out to the north today to see if I can figure out if there's anything up here for us. And so far what I've found is the crumble, the honey crumble. A nice big old strawberry patch. And then, give me one second here. This red flower here, that's a poppy. That's got uh, the what we're looking for in it. And then the guy we're going to fight is this big green guy coming right there. This guy right here. Blunt damage. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put my spear away. I'm going to try to drag him over this way a little bit so that he is... Um, kind of, if I have, when I respawn here, I can hopefully get to my stuff and he'll go back to where he came from if I drag him this way a little bit. I'll be able to get my bag back if I die. He looks like a pretty big fella. I really want to get a couple of shots on him before he comes after me. Here we go. I was a long ways off, man. Come on, so Oh, dear God, that almost killed me. Oh. I hit the wrong button, started eating. Instead of fighting, here's your, uh, your crumble. Holy moly, that scared the crap out of me. I thought I was going to die. Whew. All right, well, we're okay. These bees up here. I don't know if these hornets are 
friendly or not? I don't. I, I don't know. I've not. Uh, I've not experienced a hornet yet. Uh, but I do want this guy right here. This is that nectar we've been trying to get a hold of uh, for a little bit. And now I know how far up you're gonna come for it. We're gonna grab all these poppies first. Ah, oh, my axe broke. Well, we got a bunch of good stuff. Some of the poppies and the, and the strawberries here are coming back. Uh, I'm gonna grab this here. Honey crumbles up. Little honey crumbles. Little honey crumbles near the uh, hornet nest, which is kind of weird because I don't think hornets actually have honey. They are meat eaters, but uh, there we are. You know, they're they're amazing looking. I'll give you that. That's for dang sure. This game is amazing looking. This is a long storm, man. It's taking forever. Our ant over here is back. Tried to do a little blocking there. Like a swing, swing, and then a block, you know? Swing, swing, block. The only thing I'm wondering about is if I go down around this corner here, am I going to have to beat this green beetle again to get back here? Or maybe I'll be able to just run right past him? What if there's a way to go up and over? See, these bees are up here, so maybe we should check and see what these bees are all about. You guys mean? Are you... Oh, you know what? I've got the hammer on me still, too. Oh, God, this stuff is back as well. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, sorry. Seeds are preference. That, that wood is just, you know, so key right now in this next level of the game. I guess the first level of the game, really. But we need tons of it for the workbenches and everything else. The other thing I need is flint. And I may want to walk over. The other thing I'm thinking about doing today is walking over to that first NPC that we found out about and see if we can talk to him. Because I think we know where he is. He's just a little bit past the owl statue. But this is our little northern outpost at the moment for strawberries, uh, rye, uh, some honey crumble, and the poppies for the nectar. Pretty awesome. There's like structure over here. We saw a picnic bench over there. I feel like my trip north is going to be... That's it for my trip north. We're going to stop here at the Hornets. I'm going to head back home. Drop off my loot. And uh, I'm going to pick another direction to go. And, and have our spread our wings out a little bit more. I grabbed everything out of there. So we're good to go with that. Yeah, I'm going to head home. Drop this loot off. So I don't lose it. And uh, I'll be back with you then. We'll head out the door again and go in a different direction. Alright, respawn point set. Let's put away our loot. We have no more room for resin. That's just how full up we are on that front. Which is always a good thing. Looks to me like we've got plenty of fiber too. Probably should do some building is what I should do. We've got so much resource right now. At least it feels like we do. It's nice to see that the boxes are getting filled up. Uh, the seeds have been fantastic. I've got so many seeds now, which is great. Uh, bug parts. Uh-huh. Oh, we've got 30 of those, huh? All right. One grasshopper leg. We've got five insect wings. 13 chitin, and 24 of these insect eggs. Gross. Lots of seeds, though. I could make more of that wood. That's really awesome. All right, so I'm putting stuff away. Oh, we got lots of stuff to put away. And uh, I'll come back, and we will move forward. So it looks like the next thing in my line here that I've got to find is the flint. And bark. Bark and flint for the next two workbenches are our goals uh, here in the coming episodes to get out and find those things. We went a little bit to the north. I'm thinking we go a little bit to the south in each direction as, as much as we can go and see what we can find. Uh, 
the bees, yeah, they stop me. The bees definitely stop me from going north anymore. But I think if we go past the owl statue, I think we might have some luck over here. I want to go see what this is all about over here, too. We almost got the north part open, huh? We got to... Where did we get to? We got right around up in here. So, not too shabby. A little bit of it done, but we do have to go past those bees to get out to Dristana, it looks like. Okay. All right, that's fine. Um, all right, I'm just kind of uh, figuring out what my next move is going to be here, and then we will uh, we'll resume. So, do we go up to him with this? Let's see. Do you know we have it? You have a hammer over your head. Nothing's happening. What if I put you up here in a number... I can't put you in there, huh? Okay, so you just stay here. Um, okay, the only other thing I can think of is maybe I've got a damage him to get him to be tameable? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, you had to hit F to give him a treat. To feed him. Whew, I didn't see that. Uh, release and stay. Okay, so I hit C, okay, um, and then F, okay, C and then F, okay, oh my gosh, look at this. We got us a grasshopper, holy cow, that's really cool. His health is horrible though, what do I do to get his health up, I wonder? Looks like it's going up on its own. Can I eat on his back? I can eat, okay. Can I put a bandage on? I, okay, I put a bandage on, okay, I did that. Can I take out uh, my stuff? I get my pickaxe. I can't swing it though on him. Okay, and then to get off the grasshopper, I do that. Now does your health go up faster when I'm not on you? So if I hit C, I could just hit stay. Oh, okay. Okay. We've got a grasshopper. Our pet grasshopper. It's a rough winter, huh, buddy? His health is going up, though. That's good to see. Okay, I'm going to put my spear back on up here. Okay, so you conk him on the head, and then F lights up, and it says feed. Okay. I'm glad I didn't kill you, buddy. I'm going to see if uh, I can take him home. Will he ride the elevator up? I don't know. Can I even get him up the elevator for the sole fact that, well, he's, he turns quickly? Will he fight? Okay, no left click, no right click. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume space bar is probably jump. We should make him jump. He can't fly. He can go a little bit faster. He does have a stamina bar. This could kill him if I if I don't jump right. This is, could kill him, huh? Oh, can you climb? You can't climb that stuff, huh? He does climb a little bit.
I wonder how much damage he can take. I wonder if he fights. All kinds of questions, huh? Now, how am I going to test this to see if I can get him home? That is the way we need to go right down there is our pathway. Our ride is over this way. Now, what if I hit jump? Okay, and I pulled back. And he, he seemed to respond to that quite well. I feel like I should kill all those ants before I try to get him home. Can we jump that far? No. Grasshopper didn't take any damage. He will fight. Nice. Don't bite me. I, I must have hit him. I, I, I must have hit him, and that's why he bit me there. He wasn't too pleased about that. Okay, you get off on the left. Can I take him up? Let's see. So far, so good. Uh, looks a little wonky, but um, he's coming up with me. He's sinking through the floor a little bit. Don't don't no, don't don't fall off. Don't don't fall all the way through, dude. There we go. There we go. Home sweet home on the old grasshopper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, my God. Look at this, you guys. The sun's getting ready to come out. Oh, sexy. Got me a big old bug. A big old bug. How's that for a screenshot, right? Grasshopper. Is there any information about him? He did some fighting. He has no inventory though, so, you know, there's that. C, C, and F, and he will stay right there. Oh, that is awesome. We just almost build him a little place, huh? Hi. So he didn't take any damage when we did that big jump. We had jumped a long ways, and he does go a little bit faster when you hold down the shift key. He does a little bit faster. He did, t yeah, no damage. No damage at all. Stamina refills relatively quickly. He does fight. He will defend himself, which is pretty dang cool. And to be honest with you, now we can get over that river just fine. Uh, map. We can get over anything. Uh, we could just jump it. So we could definitely do that with him. Uh, maybe park him and then really take a good look around at some stuff. Maybe get down south here and, and go south. Uh, we've got, what was this over here? That's interesting. It's such a huge world, you guys. It's a big world, I think. Super awesome. Okay. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.